Hello everyone, Hyper here, and in today's video I will be answering the most commonly asked question that I've seen on Discord and in my YouTube comments over the past few days, and that is, which covenant should you pick as a DPS DK once you reach level 60 in the Shadowlands? I've been dreading making this video because for 99% of beta testing and alpha testing, there was a clear, correct choice. Uh, but after the last few rounds of changes, the choice has become more and more blurred, and it's going to depend on the situation which covenant becomes best so i'm going to give you a few options and then you guys can take it from there and choose based on what content you do in the game and what level you're playing the game at some of you might also be wondering what this is all about well if any potential sponsors are watching this video if you send me any good stuff that is where i will be placing it to show it off to everyone watching these videos and my stream all right, jokes aside, let's jump into the video itself and see which covenants you should be picking. So previously, Night Fae was hands down the best, but after a, round, a few rounds of nerfs and other covenants getting buffed, um, the choice is now very blurry. So depending on what content you like doing, what spec you like playing, and what level you do the content, you might have different options. So first, let's talk about the Kyrian. For pure single target damage, uh, no additional adds, no add spawns, nothing like that, Kyrian is the best option. The issue with that is, um, while it might look good on paper, in reality there are not too many instances where you're doing pure single target damage. So in my book, Kyrian kind of falls out, even though on pure single target it is hands down the best for um, both on Holy and Frost DK. But since most situations are not pure single target, I will not be picking Kyrian. For Unholy Death Knights, Necrolord currently seems like potentially the best option. It gives you great damage um, on anything that's not pure single target, like I mentioned before. Necrolord is the best option numerically. So if you're able to keep 100% uptime and just smack the adds, Necrolord will give you the best benefits. However, one thing that Necrolord struggles with is adding any utility to your kit. Um, so if you're not having any issues like sticking to your target, then Necrolord will be great. So for anything from cleave fights, AoE fights, burst and uh, sustained AoE, Necrolord for Unholy is pretty good. For Frost Decay on the other hand, Necrolord falls off a little bit. So if you're a player who is leaning towards playing Unholy, um, at the beginning of the expansion, then Necrolord is probably a great option for you. However, if you're someone who likes going for the Jack of All Trades Covenant, I think Venthyr will be a better choice. Just because Venthyr has pretty decent synergy with Unholy, not as strong as Necrolord uh, when it comes to purely Unholy gameplay, but Venthyr also synergizes greatly with Breath of Syndragosa Frost. So if you're a player who likes switching between the two specs, then Venthyr will be a great middle ground for you, um, where you get benefits for both Unholy and Frost, but it's not the strongest pick um, for Unholy. Now, if Frost DKs end up playing Breath of Syndragosa, Venthyr will most likely be the go-to option if you're a Frost DK. So exactly how Necrolord is the go-to for Unholy, I think Venthyr will be the go-to for Frost. While on pure single target, it is going to feel a little bit worse than playing some of the other covenants. As soon as you start adding more targets to the encounter, you're going to feel a better and better benefit from getting the extra runic power off of Swarming Mist. Lastly, let's mention the Night Fae. Um, the long favorites have fallen out of favor. Um, there's only one niche where Night Fae is going to be best, and that is when playing the Obliteration build. On multiple targets. Um, so if you have multiple targets and you're playing Obliteration build, then Night Face seems to be the best option, but that is such a rare scenario and it also relies on Obliteration being better than Breath of Syndragosa for this to occur. Um, I think Night Fae is going to be a very niche pick that we might see some players flex to um, like in competitive play if they're able to pull it off, but for general purposes like Mythic Rating, Mythic Plus, stuff like that, and especially PvP, I don't think we'll see much of the Night Fae. So bottom line, which Covenant should you pick? Well, in my opinion, the choice is really between Venthyr and Necrolord. 
If you're someone who plays more Unholy and prefers Unholy, then I would lean towards Necrolord. If you're someone who likes playing Frost and lean more towards the Frost DK builds, then I would play Venthyr. Um, also, if you kind of swap between the two, I think Venthyr is a better middle ground if you are trying to play both of the DPS specs rather than Necrolord, just because if you play Venthyr, you don't sacrifice that much damage while playing Unholy. But if you're playing Necrolord, you do sacrifice quite a bit when it comes to playing Frost. So I hope those options help you out a little bit um, and give you some idea of what you might want to pick. Please keep in mind that the damage difference between the Covenants, especially between Venthyr and Necrolord, is very minimal. So if you really can't decide on which one you want to pick, then just pick the one that you think looks cooler um, based on Mount, Transmog, and all that good stuff. Um, but in general, Blizzard has done a very good job at bringing these very close together when it comes to numbers. So the choice should be pretty much up to whatever you like best. And then if you're a top-end Mythic Raider, that's when your choice kind of comes down to Venthyr or Necrolord, depending on which spec you prefer playing. Let's also briefly cover Legendaries, because this is going to be something that you have to make a decision on early on since you're not going to be able to craft all the legendaries you want. So if you're going to be playing Frost DK, then the most likely legendary that you will want to craft is the Kul'Tyra's Favor. And this will go either in the shoulder or the finger slot. Uh, this legendary is going to be great overall. It's going to be the best on single target and pretty decent on AoE. However, on AoE, it does get overtaken by a Rage of the Frozen Champion. Um, so whenever you're crafting your second legendary, that is the one that I would go for. So Kul'Tyra's first and Rage of the Frozen Champion second if you're a Frost DK. Now if you're an Unholy DK, then the first legendary I would craft is the Deadliest Coil legendary. On single target, this will be the most beneficial. Um, and also on Cleave and AoE, it's still decent, uh, it does fall off a little bit. And in those situations, your best option will be the Frenzied Monstrosity Legendary. So as Unholy, the first one you go for is Deadliest Coil. The second one you go for is the Frenzied Monstrosity Legendary. Um, and then from there, there are going to be niche picks for Legendaries, but those are the main two I would focus on for each spec early on in the expansion when you kind of have to make choices um, as to which Legendaries you actually want to have access to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped you out and I hope all of you have fun leveling in Shadowlands. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or in my Discord, or you can ask them live because I will be streaming the first day of release and probably every day from there on out um, until the tier is over. And you can find me on Twitch at Hyperion29. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.